Hey everybody, I am super excited to bring you a mind-blowing market update for March of 2021. Hey everyone, it's Lori Finkelstein Reader. And after 20 plus years doing real estate in South Florida, having the opportunity to bring you a market update in this real estate market is a privilege. So we're gonna jump right in and I just want to be able to point out some things to you that say, if you're ready to sell, get ready fast. And if you're ready to buy, make sure that you are very prepared to win in this market. All right, everybody, let's dive in. We're going to first talk about Broward County single family homes. The numbers are mind blowing. And we're going to compare year over year. So March 2020, which was the start of the pandemic versus March 2021, single family homes in Broward County, inventory is down 61%. We have 61% less properties to choose from as far as single family homes. That is tough on a buyer and that is very powerful for a seller. Pending sales, which means that the buyer and the seller are in contract and we will be closing shortly in Broward. Pendings are up 86%. Wow, what a real estate market. Closed sales, that means that the transaction is done, it's complete, it's closed, up 28%. I wanna talk about condos. There's a lot of chat about condos. As we run out of single family homes to sell, and buyers are coming from California, Texas, Chicago, you name it, we are the hotspot. It's a great time to be in real estate in South Florida. Condo inventory is down 30% from March of 2020 to March of 2021. Pending sales, here's a number to write down, 185% increase in condominium sales in Broward County from 2020 to 2021. And closed sales are up 40%. Again, closed sales just means that buyer and seller have already closed and the buyer, the new buyer now owns that property. So if you're in Broward County and you're on this fence about when should I sell, should I sell? And I always like to preface, I say people sell when it suits your life, when it suits your family. Um, now's definitely the time. And if you're a buyer, you're going to need patience and that's okay because you're about to capture an interest rate. Who knows how long we'll see those rates. So I think the market's favorable for buyers and sellers. You just have to be very prepared for this arena. Let's dive into Dade County single family homes. Again, the numbers are just mind blowing. Inventory is down. We have 59% less single family homes in Dade County to sell this March of 2021 than we did of 2020. And pending sales are up 95%. That's a very big increase. Closed sales are also up by 26% for single family homes in Dade. Okay, now we're gonna talk about Dade County condos. This is a big number, everyone. Inventory down 27% for Dade County condos year over year. Pending sales. That means in the near future, these properties will be closing. Pending sales in Dade County condos are up 297%. That's almost a 300% increase in pending sales, which says to me that buyers are coming to South Florida and they are excited. They're, they feel thankful and they're excited when they find a property. Closed sales in Dade County condos are up. 79%. You guys, everybody watching this, these are big numbers. We're watching the news. The news is talking about how people are moving to South Florida like crazy. So again, I just want to bring you these numbers. Um, I've been doing this a long time, and this has been my most exciting year to report a market update. If you have any questions at all around value of your home, the process to sell your home, how long does it take to sell your home, how we as a company are able to get you far beyond value, please reach out to me directly. I am very accessible and I am happy and I am here to help you. Hope this market update was everything you hoped it would be.
Have a great day.